Who's that girl? La 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 la. Who's that girl? I hear you've been asking. I know you've seen um, this beautiful ukulele in a couple of my recent videos, and let me tell you right now, she's a pretty special little lady. Um, handmade in the Philippines in Cebu, as it says on the label there, 100% handmade, Valiente. Uh, uke by a man named Yen Valiente. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Um, yes, so this is a tenor mango wood with a cutaway shape and just look at that wood grain. So mango is a similar warm sound to Hawaiian koa, which I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of because that's the sought after um, kind of wood for a lot of people. But just look, look at the little insides on this. It's all, there's just so many, much like hand craftsmanship gone into this. I really appreciate that. It's just, just so beautiful. Um, the neck is mahogany. The fingerboard, uh, nut and bridge are Madagascan ebony. And look at that wood grain too. Look at the, the subtle difference in colour right there. I love it. Straight out of the box, it just, oh, it's such a nice feeling uke. Like I wish you could feel it. It's heavy. I like that. Like the neck is like a real solid piece of good wood. Um, it's really smooth. It's got a lovely finish to it. And I just love that it's like, Ah, like it's not got anything fandangled on it you know there's no like abalone shell there's no fancy extra shiny bits like pizzazz like it's a really simple rosette around the sound hole because it's just a really lovely wood grain like look it's got a little knot from where you can see the tree and ah oh, it's just so cool and you can tell it's handmade I mean it's got a lot of character. It's got, it's got, I don't know if you can see that, but they're a little bit wonky. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> um, and it just, it doesn't make a difference to the sound. It doesn't make a difference to it playing. It just adds character. You don't get that on machine made um, ukes. And yeah, it's just one of my favorites now. And it's great for teaching because um, it's got the black fingerboard with the white strings. So that makes, it's so much easier to see what I'm doing so I'm going to be using this one a lot I feel and the sound is just lovely I'll, I'll give you a little thingy here we go hopefully you could hear that pretty good um, it's got the arched back um, which is really good for directing the sound towards the sound hole and projecting it um, a little bit further I have found um, while I've been playing it this bridge is super duper sharp um, but maybe I just have soft arms <laughs> so it's not really an issue it's just just wanted to tell you <laughs>